So we're going to talk about diffraction now. This is a very important concept in your waves and superposition. Now, what is diffraction? Now, basically, when a wave like this, okay, it goes through a slit, all right? So this is your wave traveling in this direction, okay? And uh, it has a wavelength lambda, and it goes through a slit of size approximately b, okay? We know that this wave is going to spread like so and leave a geometrical shadow. That's the words that they use. Now, bear in mind that you can diffract in two circumstances, either when you go through an aperture or a tiny little slit, or if you go around an object. Okay, in both such situations, you will, of course, diffract. Now, um, if we, what we want to understand here is this. When you pass through a slit, there is an optimal condition for diffraction to be seen. And so this is what we call observable, observable diffraction. Okay, let's just write it down first. Okay. And uh, for this to happen, your wavelength must be approximately equal to the slit with B. Okay, so lambda must be approximately equal to B. Okay, and this is why. Let me explain. Okay, so basically, the smaller your slit width, so if B is small, let's write this down, if B is uh, small, you diffract well. So you diffract well, so you spread a lot, but your intensity is relatively small. And so what we want to do, okay, and of course, if B is uh, big, then the opposite is true. You don't diffract well, diffract poorly but you have a lot of wave going through, so your intensity is large. So you want to strike a nice balance between these. And so it has been found experimentally that when this is true, B is approximately equal to lambda, you get the most observable diffraction. And so when we draw the waves like so, okay, notice that your wavelength is actually the distance between these wave fronts. Okay, and so if this is approximately equal to this, you draw a beautiful spread on your wave. Now, uh, contrast this to this scenario here, where your wavelength is as such, but your slit width is much larger. In this case, you show a poor diffraction. Okay, so notice that the spread is reasonably poor, and your wave fronts are still very, very straight, with only a slight curve at the end. Right? And this is how you represent poor diffraction.